pipes are part of a major underground network, one that's dedicated to proper drainage. We flush without thinking, but it may surprise you to learn that clay pipes have been serving us well for thousands of years, ever since the days of ancient Babylonia. They're the sanitary sewer system's oldest secret. These pipes can take a lot of stress. They bear the weight of soil and structures overhead, and they won't corrode. They start with scrap clay from manufacturing, raw clay, and shale. After these materials have been roughly processed, a loader scoops the mix onto a conveyor that takes it to a mill for a finer grading. At this point, the mix has about 10% natural moisture, but it's not enough for it to stick together. So they add more water as it falls into a mixer. The mixer evenly distributes the water in the mix, then moves it towards an extruder that pushes the clay through a pipe-shaped dye. The clay pipe that emerges is 20 centimeters in diameter, the size that typically serves a residential side street. It has a bell-shaped opening. It's the female part of the joint that will fit into the male end of another pipe. A rotating blade trims away the ragged edges. Then, an automated system loads several pipes at a time onto a rack to await the next step. Over on another production line, they're making flue liners for chimneys. The clay is fairly soft at this point, so lettering wheels can easily engrave information. And they cut it to size, using thin wire. An upender stacks it on a pallet to await further processing. Elsewhere in the plant, a main trunk sewer pipe is born. With a diameter of over 38 centimeters, it's big and needs a substantial trim job to get rid of the rough edges. It weighs well over 300 kilograms, nearly five times that of the residential pipe. Once they're fabricated, every clay pipe goes into a dryer for at least 24 hours. A trip through a kiln will toughen them up even more. They'll spend about 50 hours in here, exposed to very high temperatures. This is called vitrification. It fuses the mineral particles together. They tap each pipe with a hammer to test if it's solid and perform a thorough visual inspection. To join lengths of pipe together, they pour polyester resin into the female joint moulds that have been placed in the bell-shaped pipes. The resin hardens, forming an O-ring, and the primer brushed on earlier helps the new resin joint adhere to the clay pipe. Next, they make a male joint by pouring resin around its spigot end. This will make for a joint with a tight seal. They test the joints by pumping water into the pipe. Then they raise it and place a load on the joint. This joint will withstand over a metric ton of pressure, which more than meets industry requirements. Now, they do another type of test on a basic clay pipe. A hydraulic jack applies pressure on the pipe. The number on the gauge far exceeds the burden of being buried underground. And so these pipes are now ready for civic duty, down in the sewers.
blow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement